Wow. Hello, Sky. Wow. Tell me that's not cool. So we've got cargo and brewer. Pain, <laughs> resentment, frustration, sadness. Hello everyone, good morning. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. And I think today is just gonna be a daily vlog. Might be a two day vlog. How are we all? Let me know how you're doing down below, where you're watching from in the world, if you're watching in the morning, what you're having to drink. Today is the 20th of June and it's a Monday when I'm filming this. I know I say this and I, say, I feel like I say this every single year, but I don't know how we've gotten to this point in the year already. It's the 20th of June. And there's 30 days in June, right? It's my birthday in 32 days. How? <laughs> I feel like I just blinked and it was my birthday last year. It's just, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I can't believe we had Maggie coming up to nearly a year. She's already won. It's just nuts. How is the year going for you guys? How how are we all? I I feel like it's been a mad couple of months. Things have just been really quite busy. A lot going on. We've done some traveling. We've saw some friends, saw some family. We've had family in London. It's just been a bit chaotic and I feel like it's just going to continue to be chaotic. Those of you who are eagle-eyed, you may notice that there is a bit of a gap here, <laughs> which is where our TV would usually be. As you know, I have been partnering with Sky and Sky Cinema throughout the year and it's been a joy. We have loved every single minute. We've reviewed some fantastic films and this video is kindly sponsored by Sky and it's a particularly exciting one because we are having a new TV arrive today, which is just crazy. I feel so so lucky the lovely team at Sky got in touch about their Sky Glass, which I have heard nothing but good things about. Everyone online seems to say that it is fantastic. So I'm currently in the flat waiting for the delivery. I've got a three hour delivery window, so I've just made myself a coffee. I've been potting around the flat, just getting some jobs done. Yeah, I am so, so excited. I will show you all about the Sky Glass when it arrives. I'm also gonna be reviewing a film this month as I have done every single month. So I'll be watching that as soon as the TV arrives. It's very exciting. I am the luckiest guy in the world. And not to worry, the TV that we did have here, which was very kindly given from my aunt and uncle because they recently got a new TV, will be going into Zara's bedroom because she sometimes likes to watch TV in the morning when she's getting ready or when she's in bed. So yeah, it's not going to waste. I'm also very proud of this plan. I feel like it's grown. I could definitely be wrong. God. But it seems to definitely be loving its little position here and it's very healthy, which is good. I'm trying to make it grow slightly straighter, so potentially I might need a little bamboo in there just to help it along. But yeah, it's doing it brilliantly. I've also got my fern that's loving life too. I need to do some repotting from house plants, so I've got some soil and some bits and bobs, so that's a job to do today. I also just got back from a trip up north to see my family, so I've got loads of washing to do. It's, a, it's just going to be a bit of an admin day and um, I might do some cooking because I haven't actually filmed any new recipes in a very long time. I need to bring these back to YouTube. They are very, very time consuming to film because you need to cook them all, prep them all and then edit and do the voiceover. So it's a lot of work, but I know you guys really do enjoy them and I love making them. So they definitely need to come back. It's just finding the time because things are crazy. <laughs> you all a Maggie update. She is very, very sleepy. I took her on a long walk this morning and she is super tired. As you can see, eyes closed, just chilling. <laughs> so I've completely cleared where the uh, previous TV was. I've dusted all this down and removed the sky box that's gone back to the team at Sky so someone else can use that. So yeah, ready for the delivery. I've given the table a nice little clean and polish as well. I got rid of the eucalyptus that sadly had died. That eucalyptus lasted forever. It was about it's about two and a half months old, so it's done really well. Look what just got delivered. Ah! <laughs> this is so exciting. I genuinely feel like a child at Christmas. This is crazy. So this is the sky glass. And this is the stand. <laughs> it, 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 
this still blows my mind. It genuinely blows my mind. Being able to not only enjoy Sky at home, but enjoy a TV. I'm a lucky, lucky guy, honestly. It just, it's just, it's magic. So we went for the medium, um, the small, I mean, to be honest, the small might have, would have worked, but we thought just to get like the best viewing experience, sitting in the middle would have been perfect because like I said, we do have a big flat um, and the space is big enough to accommodate a medium, I think. <laughs> I hope I've measured it correctly. Um, the large is, I think, 65 inches and the medium is 55 inches. So yeah, this is the glass. So I'm gonna unbox it now and then get it in position. Wow. Okay, so the glass is in. I, it's big. <laughs> Holy moly, it's big. I, I am, oh, I feel like our home cinema experience has leveled up. It's incredible. All of the packaging is 100% recyclable. No polystyrene, no plastic to be seen at all. And that isn't me lying. All of this, even the screws, it came and came in a paper bag, which I love. So all of this can be reused, recycled, repurposed. Big thumbs up. The only cable needed is the Sky power plug. That's all we need. No other cables, no antennas, nothing. Just the plug. How amazing is that? It fits like a glove. This shelf was never straight. This shelf's been up for about, well, since we moved in, it was one of the first things I kind of like DIY'd. So the shelf is definitely gonna need adjusting. It obviously will be coming down when we paint. I might move it up slightly, but actually it kind of looks like boxed in, which is really cool. Obviously this needs to be pushed back against the wall. I need to plug it in first. You can actually customize the color of the soundbar, but obviously the sides of it, are completely black and everything is built in. So no sky box, you'll notice that's gone. I've packaged that up ready to send back to sky, as I said. I'm gonna plug it in, turn it on, set it up, and just enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs> the six speakers calibrated following the sounds of these magnificent birds. Wow. The remote has voice activation, which is brilliant. And you can also talk to the TV and ask it to play anything you like. So I can say, hello Sky, launch Netflix. There is Netflix. The technology blows my mind. Like it actually blows <laughs> my mind. So now I'm about to sit down and watch today's film. I'm very, very excited about this one. It's called Duel, or if you're from the US, Duel. It has a brilliant actress called Karen Gillan in it. And it's basically, the way they describe it is after receiving a terminal diagnosis, Karen Gillan, the main character, asks to be cloned. But when she makes a full recovery, decommissioning her clone, it becomes a little bit tricky, so that's that's where they hooked me. It's a Sky original as well, which as you know, and I have mentioned, there are 52 releases coming this year, so that's one a week. Some Hollywood blockbusters, as well as some Sky originals as well. I've watched a couple Sky originals and they have all been amazing. I'll leave a link to the trailer to this down below, but I'm about to watch it. I also feel like I might want a nice coffee. In fact, let's make a nice coffee and then let's hit play. Okay, so I've just finished watching Duel. The credits are just running. Wow. That was a strange one. That was a real, didn't really see what was coming, kind of ended very cleverly. Imagine if you've ever seen The Hunger Games. Imagine a hybrid between The Hunger Games Kill Bill and an episode of Black Mirror. If you've ever seen Black Mirror, highly recommend you watch that too. It was very, very weird, very strange. The concept, without giving too much away, the main character was diagnosed with a terminal illness and she had a double, a doppelganger essentially made of her to continue her life when she wasn't there for her friends and family. And let's just say things didn't turn out how they should have. That was brilliant. Sky original as well, so created for Sky, the Sky Cinema. Honestly, fantastic. I'd rate that a solid eight. I feel like that was, it was definitely a good mix of everything. It was only an hour and a half as well, so not too long. So I'll leave the trailer to Duel 
linked down below as well as a link to Sky's YouTube channel. You can subscribe and be the first to know everything that is released and also a link to Sky Glass as well. Right, I'm going to do some repotting because we have a lot of plants that need some TLC. Gosh, it's quite loud out there. Sounds like a plane's landing. <laughs> um, I'm going to start repotting the herbs and bits and bobs in the kitchen. So these are my house plants and herbs. So basil is still growing strong. This was just a supermarket basil. It's got some lovely new leaves as well. So this is going to get a little repot. And then this is the one that we picked up from Denby's. So I'm going to give that a repot too. The fern is going well. I'm just going to give it some um, pump and feed just to make it thrive. And then this one was from my bedroom. We've got some brown leaves that I just need to give a little prune. It's, yeah, this was slightly neglected while I was away at the weekend at the hot weather. So I'm going to pull this out and give that a repot too into this one. So I'm just giving the fern some of this organic pump and feed. You just put one pump in and then you just water it and enjoy. I've fashioned a washing line on our balcony just to make use of the glorious weather we're having in London and it's nearly dried which is brilliant news. Amazing what you can do with a little bit of space. <laughs> and this little one has came in right on time because it's quarter six and she knows she gets fed at bang on six o'clock. <laughs> a couple of you said as well, I think I've mentioned this before about her bed being too small. She loves this bed because it kind of like hugs her. Like she has a bed in the hallway that is four times the size and she very rarely sleeps in it because she just loves the comfort of this one, don't you? Yeah, just took yourself in. <laughs> okay, so, oh. <laughs> Hi, it's me and Zara's ass. <laughs> Zara's back from work. Trains in England, oh my God, I look like a crazy professor, I need a haircut. And trains in England as of basically now, until, when is it? It's Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday Sunday. Sunday. They're going on strike, which I'm not going to get into. I understand why they're doing it, but it just causes utter havoc. Not just the trains, the underground staff as well. It's it's complicated. I don't quite fully understand it, but I know that they're just trying to do it to get better pay, I think, or better working conditions. Um, anyway, uh, I just had to pick Zara up from the station because her train was just, she missed it by a couple of minutes. However, look what's just arrived. Zara ordered this for Maggie. It's a cool cooling mat. Where is it from, Aldi? Aldi, yeah. It's from Aldi. Um, if it's still available, I'll link it down. How much are the six pounds, right? Five ninety nine. They've got a whole pet collection on there. Oh, like that's good. Things. Well, she loves it clearly. Maybe usual gifts. It is it it is cool, but I'm thinking maybe we could pop that and fold it up in the freezer just for like ten minutes. I'm gonna do that now and then see what's that? Because obviously she is a Labrador and she's black as well, so she absorbs heat. So. You know, the tiles are her preference, but she seems to be happy in her bed. Uh, we're gonna have some wine um, for dinner and some quiche. Uh, it's just a nice, what? What? For dinner, we're gonna have wine and quiche. Yeah, and then we're gonna have some wine and quiche. No, for dinner, we're gonna have wine. Do you want to see the new TV? Yeah. Come, come, come. I want an Aperol. Oh, okay, well, we can do that. It is Monday, Jesus. Come see no, the new TV. Do you know what it is? I have realised. What's that? To get through any day, you deserve a gift. I deserve a gift. No, I'm not okay. Do. Right, how cool is this? Are you ready? Hello, Sky. Wow. Tell this me is that's the future, not cool. Isn't it? Tell me that's not cool. Just how came you, on. Don't just turn off to say bye. Bye, Sky. Don't know. We haven't figured that one out yet. Turn off, Sky. <laughs> I'll figure that out. So dinner prep is underway. Whenever it's warm, <laughs> we we went past the the wine and went straight for the spirits. Whenever it's warm, all I really fancy is like salad. Um, and Zara had loads of this left over from the weekend, so we're just eating everything else. We've got potato salad, coleslaw, loads of peppers, tomatoes, cucumber, nice salad. And then there was also left over Prosecco, so we're doing little mini Aperols, which we're going to consume a lot of, aren't we? <laughs> and there's a quiche in there. This will probably be done, actually. It's just reheating in the air fryer. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a caramelized onion one. That smells so good. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Today is Tuesday, and it is a food day. Sorry if you can hear the washer. I forgot that the set and I put it on takes about 3,000 million hours. <laughs> um, today is a food day. Time has just gone half past 10 in the morning. Been up, went to the gym. Zara walked Maggie. Zara's working from home as I said because trains are a nightmare today. So just quickly did a grocery shop. Um, 
Oh, oh sorry, you want a biscuit? Um, the best biscuits, may I add? Oh yeah, these are really good. They're mm. really good. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, so I'm doing, basically I wanted to do some like nice summer dishes and I've never really used tofu in recipes before. So I'm gonna do um, some Korean sticky gochujang or gochujang uh, tofu. I'm gonna do a nice drunken noodles recipe. Um, I also picked these up in Tesco. I saw a guy called Ed Smith um, make these on his Instagram and they're just instant ramen noodles but he like pimped them up with loads of like ingredients like chili, um, spring onion, that kind of thing. So I'm also gonna do that, maybe not today. Oh, got some sunflowers because do you know, I'll never fail to not look at a sunflower and like not instantly just feel happier. They're lovely, aren't they? Very nice. They were four pounds, not bad. Do you feel like that when you look at me? What, when I look at you, do I instantly feel happy? I feel a lot of things when I look at you. Happiness isn't one of them. And the Pain, resentment. resentment, frustration, sadness. Aggression. I, I wouldn't say aggression. Um, yeah, that's all I think when I look at you. I am unjoking. I also got a fresh mint pan, pla pant? <laughs> a fresh mint plant because I'm gonna cook a risotto. Uh, it's for a job actually using these these things here. Sorry that washer is really loud. It's on the spin cycle now. So they're OXO meat free chicken stock cubes. So I'm gonna do a nice summer risotto with asparagus, pea and mint. So lots of food today. I'm gonna stop talking because that's gonna be really annoying and I know when I come to edit this I'll hate myself. <laughs> Just finished up cooking the risotto. I filmed it for Instagram as always, so it's gonna be over on there. But this is the finished dish. It's a very, very substantial lunch. What do you think? What's the verdict? Mm -hmm. Out of ten. Ten? Nine? The anticipation's killing me. It's not that it's not your favourite risotto, you like a mushroom. Don't you? I know. No, no. I'd give it an 8 out of 10, but that's because I like a risotto to be like warm and like a hug, whereas it's very summery it's and very fruity. It's very fresh. Not fruity. fruity. Fresh. Fresh. But it's very, very tasty. You've got the towel above your head. It's like we're like we're in the um, Italian. I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway. The streets? Yeah. Streets of Italy with the laundry above. Anyway, I'm going to eat and then get on with round two. Maggie, what is she doing to you? <laughs> oh, you're enjoying it. <laughs> Gosh, today has been a day. I think the last time I caught up with you guys I was making a result or now I'm making noodles. <laughs> well, not making them, but cooking noodles. And I've got this little setup going on here. It's so tricky. I really wish I had like an extra pair of hands so I could vlog and also film at the same time. But um, these are gonna be some, they're called drunken noodles. They're really popular in places like Thailand and Asia. Um, it's a mixture of like soy sauce, oyster sauce, um, light and dark uh, soy sauce, sorry, some sesame oil. I'm gonna use some um, hoisin just because this needs to use them up. Brown sugar, garlic, peppers, tr not traditional, but I'm gonna pop them in. And I got some udon noodles in the shops earlier. And I'm gonna finish it off with some sesame seeds, some spring onions or salad onions, and some chili. Oh, good morning. So I didn't actually end the vlog yesterday. It's always the way when people come around, you just get lost in conversation and it ended up being a really late night. But before I do end the vlog, I've had a very exciting parcel arrive. Well, it arrived last week, but I haven't put it in the vlog until now. So I shared previously that I'm gonna be working with Core Paints to transform the living room and just give it a bit of a, a, bit of a change because you know, a change is as good as a rest. And I know there are a lot of options what I put in the vlog previously. I'll link the vlog up top. We we had, I think, seven paint samples in total, and we've narrowed it down to two colours. Um, I love Core Paints. They're fantastic. They're a carbon neutral paint company, so all of their plastics are not plastic. So all of their packaging is recyclable, which is brilliant. It's had a life previously and it will continue to go on and have a new life. Traditionally, paint would either come as it is or in plastic bags. These come in reusable dust bags, which is brilliant. So the first color we went for is Brewer, which I know I'll pop the sample on screen to remind you, a lot of you said that it would be too dark. So we've balanced that out. Oh, with cargo, which I'll also put on screen. So if I can lift these up, oh my lord above. Oh, I went to the gym this morning, but this is hurting. So we've got cargo and brewer. 
Now, this is where the next decision comes in because we aren't sure if we want to do the feature wall like we've currently had and do another wall to do two walls dark, two walls light to try and balance out the light. It's a very bright room. Or we are very tempted, very, very tempted, as I have done in my room, to do a split wall, do the bottom half a darker colour and the top half a lighter colour. So the idea would be that we'd kind of do a split wall all the way along, which could look really, really nice. I feel like that could definitely add some interest to the room, maybe like section the room. <laughs> Hi, Maggie. <laughs> Maggie's just having a snooze. This is the um, chair I was using as a tripod. Yes, we could kind of just split the wall all the way through. Obviously, we wouldn't put data or rail enough because we are in rental and it's just not really something that we've ever really wanted to do. It's a lot of work for just a rental property. Um, so yeah, we could just use a paint line using um, decorator's tape. So that's definitely an idea. The height would probably have to be, I would say, the height of the fireplace just below, but we're not really sure. I think... I love the dark feature wall, so I'm very tempted to do dark wall, dark wall on the curtain to just carry it on round and then do light on this wall and then light on this wall. So that's where we're currently at. I'm very, very tempted to paint this Sunday because we've got no plans. However, <laughs> it's a big job, so I'm, I'm definitely going to have to psych myself up for it because last time I did it, I did it all in one day and I was knackered. <laughs> So um, yeah, let me know what you think down below. But I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.